Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mushroom Pretty Guys. Another video, guys. We're doing an updated video to how to win your first solo game. The reason I'm doing this is because I think in week three challenges, Tomato Town ended up getting extremely packed because of one of the challenges. So, in today's video, we're going to show you guys exactly what to do to get a win, the updated version, because the other one's a little outdated. It's like three or four weeks old. So, there's been a few updates and things like that, and things have changed. So, I'm going to show you guys the best tip that you need to get your first solo win in Fortnite Battle. Royale. So basically I'm landing at Greasy Grove. The reason I'm landing here is because I know one of my old techniques was to land somewhere where no one else is. This is true. You can do this. If that works for you, do it. But some people complain about it saying that you don't become a better player playing that way. So I decided, you know what, let me make a video to show them so that way not only will you get a victory royale, but it'll also make you a better player. So I landed at Greasy Grove. This place should be popping because it was one of the first cities to land at. Um, I did see someone go burger. So you know what I'm going to do since I have a shotgun, I have shield and I I have an AR. I'm just going to go ahead and push the guy at Burger because I'd rather push knowing where he is rather than him pushing me knowing where I am, if, if that makes sense. Basically, since I know where he is, I want to push him while I know where he is because if I don't push him now and I lose where he is, yeah, he's in here somewhere. If I lose where he is, then he can end up killing me from behind or something like that. So you always want to kill everyone else from behind. Yeah, he's right here. There we go. Get this shotgun. All right, so now our loot's looking even better, man. We have double shotguns, which is exactly what you want. Um, we're going to cover your inventory and what you want to hold. So basically, you guys, if you have an AR, you want to usually keep it in the first slot. And then if you have a shotgun, you want to put one of the shotguns, mainly the pump. You want to rock a pump and then a tactical shotgun right next to it. The reason this is is because the pump will do heavy damage. And then you're going to switch to your tactical shotgun right away to do the rest of the damage to finish them off. So now that we killed the one person I saw here. We're just going to go ahead and keep looting this place. Hopefully, there's nobody else here. I didn't see anyone. Uh, that's one of the other tech. Yeah, someone's right here. I think it's a John Wick, so he might be good. You just want to try and juke the person out. That's all you want to try and do. All right, yeah, he's weak. Now I'm going to switch. See, now I'm using my tack to finish him off because that's what you want to do. You want to use the pump to do the heavy damage and then use the tactical shotgun to finish him off. And then besides that, the last two slots, you can either have uh, shields or healing. I prefer having shields and then the, the pistol slot. I can have that for anything I want. If I find impulse grenades, if I find anything else, a rocket or something like that, I'll put that in that slot. But now that we have the loot covered, I, I mean, I'm looking pretty good. The only thing I need to get now is mats, you guys. I need to get some more material so that way whenever I get in a gun fight or anything like that i have ooh, we got the big pot baby we're gonna take this right now this way whenever i get in a gunfight i have enough material to build and try and save myself so that way plus when you have more material you you have a lot more confidence playing the game because you know that you have a lot of stuff that you can build to protect yourself oh my god another big pot this is why i had that extra pistol ooh, we got the blue tactical shotgun if you guys don't know the colorways between the weapons um that's definitely one of the newer things I've covered ever in a video it goes green it goes of course common which is the gray or white then it goes green blue purple then gold breaking all these stuff inside the houses it really gets you a lot of loot um a lot of the wood stuff like that you can get like four wood or six wood just by hitting one of them so you guys got to definitely make sure you have enough mats looks like that place got looted um i think this house over here in this corner might not have gotten looted another slurp juice i i like to drink the slurp juices even though i have 100 100 i like to drink it waste it get it out the way so that way if anyone else finds it there's no way they'll be able to use it. But with that being said, guys, paying attention to where the circle is on the map actually helps out a lot. As you guys can see, I'm, I'm close to the circle, so I don't have to worry too much about when I have to leave this spot because that's one of the techniques that I want to tell you guys is you want to play the edges of the circle. You want to play as stealthy as possible. I know my last video I said you basically hide throughout the whole thing. This one's kind of going to be the same, but we're going to get a little bit more aggressive. So that way you guys can learn a little bit on how to win gunfights, but definitely we're going to show you guys how to play it safe. Like I said, breaking all the these materials is definitely good i mean as you guys can see i already have 400 and we're gonna have 500 wood which is exactly what we need now we can start heading to the circle we're gonna try and pick a house over here that's like i guess we can go to that house to the left i just want to get up on this hill to make sure yeah i see someone over at that house so what we we'll do since we know where he is like i said you want to if you know where somebody is you want to push them rather than losing them and they they find you later on in the game and plus this house is right on the edge of the circle so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill him and then we're gonna try and sit, camp at the house until we find out where the next circle is there's no need to be out in the open trying to run and kill people with the circle closing in it's better to play it safe and hide at the edge of the circle oh shit
As you guys saw right there, you guys actually saw I switched to my tactical shotgun. That's one of the big tips. Of course, having the pump, more baby pots. Ooh, 10 baby pots. We're good. Having the pump to do the critical damage and then the baby or the, the tactical shotgun to finish them off. We're going to get full heals, but we're going to come down here. Um, see if there's anything here. Nope. Get some more wood. What we'll do is we'll hide under the stairs, um, and then we'll get our full heals. Actually, yeah, yeah, we'll hide under the stairs. We'll get our full heals. We can sound whore, and we're good to go. Now all we have to do is just sound whore and listen to see where if anyone's coming or where the next circle is going to be. Now the reason we're hiding on the outside edge of the circle where we are right now is because, one, if we're in the middle, we can have people coming from all different directions because they're trying to get to the center of the circle. But with us being on the edge, people can only be coming from the storm trying to get into the circle, and you're never going to really have people in the middle of the circle pushing towards the edges unless they're really good. But as you guys can see now, the circle is pretty far. So what you want to do is you want to plan out your route on how to get to the circle as best way as possible without seeing as many people. Now I know this sounds like a little pussy strategy, but guys, it works. I'm telling you now, it's going to work. I've helped out hundreds and hundreds of people getting their first win. So if you just go with these tips, man, it's going to work. And if it actually works for you, let me know down in the comments below how many wins you got. We're going to go ahead and push now. We got about a minute and 30 seconds. Um, we're going to try to avoid Tilted Towers as much as we can. We can run through it, but there's always people camping in Tilted Towers. So I'm going to give you guys the tip. Don't, don't worry about Tilted Towers. Just try to stay away from Tilted Towers the best you can. You can run by it as long as you're never running through it. Oh, there's some loot up here. That means someone just died. Oh, yeah, I see the person. He's all the way through 30. Oh, there's two people. One over there by the semi-truck, and I think there's one up here by the broken house. Yeah, right there. We're going to sneak up on this guy just because... Sneak up with the shotgun, they don't know you're coming, and you can finish them off in two shots rather than missing with your AR, and then they start building and kill you. Look at that, we got a blue AR, that's good. I think that's about, oh, we're gonna take this grenade launcher. And then there was one more person. Okay, yeah, I see where he's building. So instead of pushing him head on, I want to give you guys a tip. You want to use the mountains. You want to use the hills. You want to use whatever you can to, to hide your cover. Don't let him know where you're coming from. So I don't think he saw me. So we're going to push up this left side of the hill. He might have seen me. That's why he's building up. We're going to push up this left side. And we're just going to bombard him with these. Destroyed his base. I hit him once. So he's pretty weak. He's probably freaking out right now. Yeah, he doesn't know what's going on. And there you go, guys. That's how you get a free kill. You don't want to rush them head on. Never rush a person head on because, one, they're going to have building and they're going to be able to kill you instantly. Ooh, baby, a scar. Now we're going to get to the circle. We got a few kills on the way to the circle, which got us better loot. I know us. I saw a lot of comments in the first video saying you want to kill as many people as you can so that way you can have better loot. I agree, but then again, I don't agree. Exactly what I just did is perfect. I've killed enough people and I killed them all from behind because of the, the way I played the map. And again, what I mean by the way I played the map is hiding at the edges of the circle by the time i started running into the circle oh there's someone right here instead of just shooting him like this because he doesn't know where i am i'm gonna i'm gonna try and get as close as i can to him that way i can shotgun him because if i start shooting him from a distance it's one gonna give my cover away it's two gonna let other people know where i am so they're all gonna rush me so since he's not really in the circle yeah we're gonna hit this the second warehouse because this one's in the yeah i see him up there again we're gonna do the shotgun technique I missed the pump, but it's okay. Even if you miss the pump, you gotta switch. Never stay on your pump. Always switch after the first shot. And again, I don't know if I addressed this in the video, but the reason I say that is because the pump shotgun shoots way too slow. But guys, we're gonna camp it out right here. Wait till the circle comes, and then we're gonna see where the next circle ends up going. Okay, so now that we know the circle's over here, we're gonna try and find a route to push to get to the circle. We're gonna go up this way, and then I guess we can go right. I think there's some houses over here that are in the circle. That's our objective. We're gonna try and get to these houses so we can camp inside of those and wait for the next circle and that's all we're doing is we're getting to the circle and then we're just camping we're waiting until the next circle comes so we can see where we have to go being this close to the edge of the circle where the storm is is actually pretty good because you'll rarely find people coming outside the circle it can happen i'm not going to say it never happens but it can happen but it's rare that you'll see somebody running from the storm to get into the circle and if they do they're already really weak from the storm taking damage to them oh someone built right here so someone's probably in there camping yeah yeah there, there they go like I said, I can easily just start shooting him, but I'm going to get a little bit closer, line up my shot. He's not moving, so I'm just going to go for headshots. There we go. Nice headshot to do 70 damage, guys. Always aim for the headshots. If, if you can't get close to them and they're not looking at you, shoot them from the back. And this technique that I'm showing you guys, you guys can already see that a lot of these kills that I'm getting is from the back. I don't have to get in a serious gunfight with anybody because of the fact that I'm shooting them all from behind. So this technique really works. We're going to get in this house. This is the house we're going to camp in. I don't see anyone. There's only six people left, and I don't see anyone. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to set up camp. Just build this. Let me get rid of this wall real quick. The reason we're building our own for 
four corners is so this way we're perfectly safe I'll put a trap here and I'll put a door here so someone thinks that it's safe um leave that there we'll come up here to be a little bit more safe and I guess we could we could probably put could probably put a wall up right here so that way nobody comes from upstairs and then we'll put a flat platform right here so that way we're safe but we're gonna open it up so that way we have an easy route to go up and down and now we basically just sit here and wait for the next storm to come in and find out where the next people are but a little tip that I want to give you guys right now while waiting is this is how you third person peek a lot of people think that they can look out the window like this to look for people don't do that just do this hide where no one can see you but you can see them this is third person peeking and this is what makes good players actually good at this game because they do this third person peeking where they're not seen but they can see other people now it's just a waiting game so i'm gonna skip this part all right now the next circle is over here i don't really think there's any houses that we can hide in all this open space over here this big part of the circle that's not good because that means a lot of people are camping over there this this is where we want to be but since we're over here this does suck there could be someone in loot lake so i have to look out for that uh, there's going to be people over here there's no way all this open space right here with six seven people left there's gonna be people oh there's only three people left actually but i definitely think someone's gonna be over on that side so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait a little bit longer this is a little technique you can do is you can open up this wall so you can see through it but they can't see you and you can just peek outside to make sure that you don't see anyone coming and you can wait we're just gonna wait because we're so close to the circle and this is one of the smaller circles we can actually outrun this circle so what we'll do is we'll wait right here until the circle starts closing in and then we can actually go ahead and start moving towards the circle hopefully no one is gonna kill us from behind but with that being said you got to know it you guys got to know that there could be people from the big side of the circle so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to stay on guard and be ready to build because the second you start getting shooting at shot at that's the first reaction you need to have is build you don't need to have the reaction of turning to find where they are you need to have a reaction of building around you so that way you protect yourself i don't see anyone out there um there's about 20 20 seconds left all right yeah we're gonna we're gonna go out there it's 10 seconds left we can outrun the storm so we're gonna start heading there now i guess i there's only two people left so hopefully they can start fighting each other we're gonna push i see building over there so there might be someone in that tower we want to get on the high ground advantage so we're gonna push like up on the hill oh crap i hope these people don't see me i'm gonna use these trees as a line of sight so that way they can't see me actually i think this hill's not in the circle so you know what we're gonna do we're just gonna hide oh shit i think they're fighting each other this is definitely a good thing if they start fighting. Yeah, I think there's a person right there, and then he, sh he was sniping at... S yeah, he's fighting someone. So the last three people, there's me and these two people right here. Let the two people fight. I'm just going to hide. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because, one, I want them to get each other weak. So when one kills the other person, the other one's going to be weak because he was just in the fight. And that's when we're going to make our t turn and we're going to kill him. We're in the circle. They're in the circle. We're good. We're just going to hide and just wait it out. All right, the new circle is, like, right next to me. Um, I'm just going to put these stairs here so I can see up there to see where this other guy is. Looks like they're just spraying at each other. But it's fine because they're wasting ammo. They're wasting material. Hopefully, they're they're getting hit, so their their health is going down. Crap! I think this guy's yeah. He's pushing to the circle. He's giving up on the fight. That's not good. This is definitely not a good situation. Now, now that he's given up on the fight, there's a kid up there, and this person over here that's he's pushing to the circle. He's gonna set up his own base in the circle, so he's safe, which is not good. If we rush him, we're gonna get rushed from the guy behind, so we cannot get sandwiched. If we get sandwiched, we're gonna lose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over here. I know this guy has to push into the circle, so we're going to camp. We're going to hide right here. And we're not going to worry about the guy on the right. The guy over there that's south, he's building his own base, and he's trying to stay safe. We're going to wait for this guy to rush this way, trying to get to the circle. Yeah, he's over there with his base. So we're just going to sit right here and wait. Here he comes. Right when he comes, we're going to shock on him. Oh, crap. There we go. We killed him. Now the other kid is over there to my right. We got a purple attack. We're going to pick it up quick. We're going to loot quick, you guys. Got a gold scar. Um, all right, now we got to get out of here because this other guy is probably going to rush us. He might be in the base, though. Oh, no, I hear him. Building is the first reaction you guys want to have. Now it's a shotgun fight. I'm going to keep building. Let's go, baby. That's how you guys get a victory royale. Nine kills, you guys. That's freaking awesome. Guys, tip is play the edges of the circle. Play it smart, and then you guys are going to be able to get a victory royale. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys please can, give this video a thumbs up. I want you guys to smash that like button like never before. I appreciate likes more than anything on this channel. So if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe, but give the video a thumbs up if you don't feel like subscribing. If you do want more content like this, give the video a thumbs up. It shows that you guys enjoy this, and I will bring you guys more videos like it. But with 
that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys please can, stay tuned. Tomorrow I'm announcing the giveaway of the $100 V-Bug giveaway, guys. 11,200 V-Bucks. It's massive. Before I forget, subscribe to Casual Pro. He's an awesome guy. He's helping with the donations and stuff like that. For the giveaway, he actually hosts a lot of giveaways on his channel. So if you guys want a chance to win like maybe a free PS4 or some free skins or anything like that, go to his channel. He does a lot of giveaways. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.